Well, here at KMIR 6 today, we love dogs, and we report about them regularly during our Valley Pet Finder segment. And right now, we want to tell you a very heartwarming story. KMIR 6 helped a family raise funds for an injured dog, Buddy. He's a cutie, and we'll introduce you to him in just a moment. Here's the backstory, though. Buddy the dog was involved in a hit-and-run accident that left him with a broken skull and other serious injuries. His owner, Blanca, took him to an animal hospital that refused to care for him because of her financial situation. She turned to KMIR 6 for help. We put Buddy's picture on the air, and a kind viewer volunteered to get Buddy the care he needed. He still needs more help, though. We'll tell you about that in a minute. Joining us right now is Buddy and Blanca Rodriguez, his owner, with an update. So Buddy is with us. He's adorable. He's doing much better today. Tell us how he's doing right now. Well, he's actually a lot better. I mean, he's improved. At first, he couldn't even walk, nothing, and now he's eating. He's being, like, able to walk on his own. He doesn't need our help. So, I mean, he's back to himself pretty much. Well, it looks like he has a cast on his arm, a bandage over his head. He has stitches between his eyes. Mm -hmm. What? Tell us about the injuries. Well, we, we're thinking he got ran over by a car. So, I mean, he got a laceration, broken skull and a broken leg. So the doctor basically um, splinted and then bandaged him up. And um, she said that he should be okay, but she was surprised wow. that he was able to survive this. He looked like he's in a lot of pain. Is he medicated? Does he require medication because he is in so much pain? Yes, he's on three different medications, two antibiotics and a pain med. Mm -hmm. And, I mean, it's helping him out a lot right now. Now, you had, we put this on the air a few days ago, and you did have one viewer call you. Yes. Donate some money, right? Yes, so but you, you do still need a little more because this surgery is hundreds of dollars, right? Yes. So that would help out a lot. And she still has, like, further care to go, like, another eight weeks. So. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Is he going to need rehab after? So, uh, you know, after this, the wounds have healed, is he going to need to go through a program or something to help him out? We were not sure yet. The doctor said she would let us know as soon as this heals, and we would go from there. So right now we're just hoping this heals, like, pretty soon. Aww. Take us back to when, when this happened. He, he was in the yard with his brother or a fellow his, dog? Yeah, his sister. And somehow they got out, and one of them returned, and we went out looking for him, and we couldn't find him. And finally, like, around 1030, he came back on his own, and he was pretty bad, in pretty bad shape. And what did doctors tell you when that he, they were surprised he even came back? Yeah, that he even came back. He's a, I can't believe he was able to survive this. Like, we've never seen a dog. Wow. Now, as a dog owner, obviously you love your dog. You love yes. Buddy. So when you saw him come back injured like that, I mean, what was going through your mind? Well, we were all pretty much heartbroken because we've had him for seven years, and he's become part of our family. So for someone to tell us that it was better to put him down, we were like, just, it was devastating for us. You said your sister was hysterically yeah, she crying. Yeah, was hysterical. It, it, was, it was bad. You can only imagine. I mean, and then now seeing the transformation that he is doing better, yeah. how does that make you feel now? Well, we're very thankful. We're grateful to the Carter Animal Hospital and with you guys as well because we got some donations, you know, and it helped out with Buddy, and we're just looking forward for him recovering. That's Hopefully right. we'll get more, too. <laughs> yes. We would like to get some more because there's still a few hundred dollars left not only are you in debt from this, you'd like to be able to get him the surgery where he can have the, yes. what you say, screws put in? Yeah, and plates because it's broken. I guess that's a way to repair it. So for now, he's on the splint just uh -huh. so it won't get any more damage. Is he able to walk right now on his own? Yes, but he limps. So we kind of try to keep an eye on him. We don't let him out on his own because we don't want him to get hurt. So. You know what's crazy? He's like a miracle dog because you said... His personality is still the same. You would think yeah. with head trauma <laughs> like that, he would, you know, maybe have sustained a brain injury. Yeah. But you said he's pretty much himself, aside from being obviously lethargic and. Yeah. Thankfully, no brain damage and everything's fine. Just his injuries. Now, how is his sister, the dog, reacting? Does she... At first, yeah, we because we had him separated for a couple of days, so she kind of got a little depressed. And then when they oh. finally reunited, they were like happy. Two oh, yes, yes. How has this changed his life? So uh, now what is he doing every day? Well, he, I, I've noticed he's more careful because when we go mm. out to the front yard, he doesn't run because before mm. he would take off, and he's not like that anymore. But, I mean, 
He's getting better. He's recovering. He's on the road to recovery. He's, got a cast. Oh, he's so sweet. Well, Blanca, I know that you still need some more help. Again, this is very expensive. Not only do, did he need the surgery, the money for the surgery, he also needs medication. So, if you want to help Blanca and Buddy the dog recover, we have Blanca's information on our monitor right there. It's Blanca uh, Rodriguez. Your email address is on same the, name as you on the screen. Yeah, and then your phone number seven six zero seven nine nine one three. Eight, five. And was that picture the picture of Buddy before the accident? Yes, that was Aww, before. It looks like a little puppy there, <laughs> and now he's seven. He just yeah. warms our hearts. I mean, we yes. saw him, and as soon as we saw him, he's just so adorable. And hopefully, he'll get the help he needs, and and just do. You know, he's already doing better, so yeah. you can't explain how sweet he is. Thank you so much for Thank sharing you. your Thank story you. with us, Blanca. It was a pleasure having you on. And good luck with everything. Thank you. Oh. Oh, we're like all emotional all morning. We'll stay with us. We have much more for you coming up right after the break. We're going to have another check of that fire.